All right, folks, here we are. We're ready to go to the next uh, big battle here. So we're going to do a couple of simultaneous battles. Uh, this being the easier of the two. Hopefully this works out. Uh, if anybody betrays us, we could be in a whole heap of trouble, you might say. Uh, this is against Sun Chuen himself. Sun Chuen, obviously, tough dude. Do-do-do, yeah, and he's got lots of peeps. Luckily, he does not have the uh, great military leaders that we do. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and I realized putting my commander out there for the battle is uh, obviously a risk, but it's not, in my, in my mind, it's not a big risk because... Why is it not a big risk? Because they said it wasn't a big risk. No, because Shang Long is not gonna, he looks like some kid I went to high school with. Anyway, so Shang Long is definitely not going to beat Guan Yu, which is good, although that was a lot closer than uh, I'm comfortable with, of course. There we go. Alright. Oh, so we're only outnumbered by 100? Yeah, we're only outnumbered by 100. That's right, that's right. He had, oh, I thought he had 800, though. But Shang Long is his, probably his best commander there. He's very generic. For some reason, I never hear about Shang Long, and it's probably because I never play as... Uh, Sun Jian, Sun C, or Sun uh, Chuan. So, I mean, that, that would be why, right? Alright, so these guys are gonna come across the water here. And of course, we are going to just uh, whatever them. And the cool part is if we can significantly weaken Sun Chuan's castle unit there, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm gonna take every advantage they give me. Uh, see if they'll come after the guy they can see. Woo, jeez Louise, wow. Well, all right. So I'm definitely gonna take that opportunity to beat these guys up piecemeal. Uh, if they're gonna if they're gonna send them out in such a you know piecemeal fashion, then uh, we should definitely do what we can to decimate them. But yeah, if we can we can Sun uh, Chuen's unit enough, uh, we can make it so we can have a series of quick battles, of course, where we won't need uh, to do much other than go right after him, just like we did with Lu Zhang there, uh, and also with Zhang Lu, where they had a very small, because, you know, once the Lord goes down, he goes down. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not a case where you need to do anything else. I think in a lot of cases, this is the last guy I gotta take care of, is uh, Sun Chuen. Because Sun Chuen, he's kind of like Lu Zhang. Lu Zhang. It's either Lu Zhang, Sun Chuen, or Ma Tang will be my last ones to take care of. I don't think really Yan Shao, because I think I try to get the North taken care of a little bit earlier. Because the North is adjacent to actually decent provinces, you know, whereas uh, the West is not really as much and certainly the east and the south I don't really put much thought into but I never use anybody who's based out of the south either. I've sure I've beat the game with uh, Lu Biao before. For some reason I'm kind of a Lu Biao fan. Uh, I don't know why, he didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, and the worst thing he did is, of course, he listened to one of his uh, his wives who told him to put Lu Kong in charge instead of Lu, and I can't remember the other one's name. But in any case, uh, it turned out to be a bad move because Lu Kong promptly uh, surrendered to uh, Cao Cao, and it turned out to be a bad move for him because Cao Cao quickly had him taken out. All right, so we're doing real good right now. Yeah, the units are really no match for ours. And hopefully it'll stay that way, provided nobody stabs us in the back. Although this guy is taking somewhat of a shellacking here. I'll probably, I'll probably move him out of there. It'd be a lot better position uh, just to move back one. And he won't be the subject of a triple attack. But really, we've changed this uh, to where we now outnumber them pretty handily. But uh, Sun Chuan himself could be a problem because I think he has somewhere in the high 80s of war ability. Uh, not 90, but high 80s of war ability. Which is, you know, that's high. 
And uh, especially when you, you add to that, you've got the castle's protection. I don't get triple attack like that, that's for sure. So, you know, it could be a real problem. So I definitely don't want to deal with that too much. And I moved back into the same position I was in because the triple attack has changed because everybody has seized the shiny thing. Oh no, no, now they want to get back into a triple attack. That's fine. I'm gonna get a quadruple attack now, which is triple, which should uh, obviate the triple attack pretty quickly here because this guy's really, he's getting the shaft all right. He's getting, uh, he's getting uh, stiff forearm shivers to the ear pretty much. And he's out. Good. And now we can start investing in the castle. Yes, and we'll just kind of do -si do around here. And that will be the deal. So yeah, I, I wish this game had a little bit more depth to it. I mean, obviously after doing two other playthroughs uh, and another one investing as many hours in the game. Um, obviously I'm still a fan anyway, it didn't interfere with my overall enjoyment of the game. However, uh, I would say that, you know, I, this game definitely could have used a lot more uh, uh, depth to it, like, uh, but maybe not too much depth because that's what turned me off about Genghis Khan for the NES. So that was a pretty good game, but I just never seemed to be able to get anything going in it because battles didn't seem to turn out that well for me. And also, not only that, uh, but it seemed like anytime you attacked anything, you left yourself open, and people would always attack uh, what you left be what you left behind. You know, in that when you'd attack somewhere, and somebody would always hit the areas that were now your. Uh, your rear. So it really, it was a tough game. I wasn't very good at it. I mean, straight up, it just probably wasn't old enough to really understand. But even though I thought I understood, I always wanted to be England too, because I'm kind of an Anglophile. And so I'd be King Richard, and I would just kind of go along and, you know, improve my economy and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure I should have been more aggressive. And occasionally I'd go over to France and take over that. Uh, but then it, the, uh, the province across the sea from you that isn't France would always hit me back and then, you know, it would, uh, I would end up getting uh, killed or my home province would get, end up getting taken over or my guy would rebel against me because he wasn't a family member, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And so that was rather unfortunate that worked out that way. All right, I might be able to hit Sun Chuen again from 27. I'll take your soldiers, that's for sure. Anybody's got soldiers, I'm gonna recruit them. Ah, I didn't get the, uh, the ruler's seal. Alright, uh, so let's have somebody who's not... So hopefully Sun Chuen ran here. If he ran here, that's gonna save me all kinds of problems. No, he didn't. Now it's Sun frickin' you. Um, so, this is gonna be ugly. Plus, I don't think they armed Ganning, which is real nice of them to do. But yeah, this is going to be one ugly battle right here. And Sao Ren, you better not betray me, buddy. Because otherwise, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Because <coughs> I'm already two to one outnumbered. There's not much you can do about it, because I can't attack with more people, because they limit uh, the limit the number of people you can attack with to five, 500. Five soldiers, or five generals, 500 men. Um... So we're gonna hope that this battle goes down just as sweet as Ganning challenges Xiao Hao Ba. Oh, that's bad. Cause Xiao Hao Ba is outclassed by three points by Ganning. So yeah, that's a real problem. If he loses this battle, uh, victory may not be possible. I hope for a tie. Or that I'm a little bit lucky. I don't look like I'm gonna be lucky. Gosh darn it, Xiao Hao Ba, you dumb dick. All right, well, all right, now I'm in trouble. That's okay. Well, it's not okay. Because I just out 100 dudes. So they don't really, oh, there's Chuko Jin, who, uh, Jin, who was the, uh, who was, well, who is the brother of Chuko Liang, although he would not join 
uh, his brother, although they both offered each other the chance to uh, join up with uh, their respective sides. However, that did not take place. So we're gonna have to take this real easy. And we're gonna have to make sure every battle we get into is just completely in our favor. I think Lu Su is Lu Xu, who was the advisor who was very friendly with Xu, but really got taken advantage of uh, by uh, Chu Ko Liang and uh, Lu Bei who repeatedly made excuses for not giving back province uh, 20 and 19. Although the uh, Sun Chuan had made it clear that, hey, buddy, this is strictly, you know, a temporary loan for you. Uh, but they, you know, they weren't feeling that. So they're starting off promising. Well, I didn't start off promising. It started off very unpromising. It's, uh, it's good we were able to create this unequal matchup. Now, this guy's dumb enough to step into the jaws of this. No, he's not. Okay. Ah, I was afraid of that. But luckily we didn't take any damage from him. I'm just trying to avoid getting into any uh, untoward situations. Now, they could really overwhelm us with people right now, so I'm not sure if they're going to try such a thing. Um, but it, it wouldn't be the worst move they could make. As I try to, you know, kind of isolate and decimate uh, what they have in place. Let's see, who's over here? Who's coming at me? Lucio, okay, I'm not too worried about you. God dang, they're real big. They're real smart on the ambushes. Okay, yeah, they've managed to encapsulate my guy there. Uh, which is, you know, that's no good. And they've managed to, like I said, get these ambushes set up and let them take hold. But I think I'm not too bad here as far as keeping myself out of trouble. But we'll see what happens. Uh, if I can get them to... Uh, of abandon their ambush positions I could catch them coming back in an ambush which would be pretty nice let's see let's see if they still got no I don't think they still got me in an ambush oh no they do they they're still sitting in ambush okay I can go ahead and uh, just work on uh, isolating him and taking him out of the game and then we'll worry about these other units that are coming along. But it looks like the units in ambush are going to stay in ambush, but they might not. They might actually come out after us now. Don't know why he hasn't withdrawn yet. Because he's pretty screwed. Withdrew, that's good. Okay, so if we just shift the line here, we can prevent them. I don't think that'll work. Well, maybe it will. Yeah, I don't think he won't have the mobility to. Yeah, but he'll eventually be able to plug the hole. Oh no, okay, so they've decided they want to try this out. That's fine, but they've limited their effectiveness there. I mean, sure, they can double attack my uh, commander unit, but they can never triple attack it unless they're. They could just try to move along the line, but I don't think the AI is set up to do that. Plus, this unit in the middle here is not going to last long enough to really make this a winning strategy. So, yeah. I don't know where the hell Gan Ning is at. I keep seeing his name flash across the screen. He could be one of those guys sitting in ambush. Uh, and they won't let you, you know, through that view command where I look at the other uh, enemy units, who they are. They won't let you do that for people who are in the woods, even if you know they're there. I think maybe if you're next to them, they'll let you do it. Maybe not, though. Not sure. Okay, well, he's smart enough not to kind of step into the disaster there. Smart on his part. It's unfortunate for me. I would like him to. So, yeah, these units, and that 98 is just kind of sitting there. Like, he could be coming around the other side and trying to set something up. It won't work, but he certainly could be doing it. But all he's doing is just standing there. And letting us beat up on him. 
uh, for a while. That's yeah, really too bad that Xiao Hao Ba was downed in that combat. I had no control over that. I certainly would have sent out somebody like Zhang Fei uh, to go, Tish. Hmm. I might be getting in there. Okay. So we've been able to uh, isolate and destroy a couple of units here. Is anybody, okay, there's nobody in those woods. Ah, Sun Juan. Juan. Okay, for some reason, this guy's gonna come around. Eh, us two can take him, I guess. Put Sao Ren in the castle there. I'm not sure, what are, what are, I'm not sure, I would like to look here. I'd be very interested to see what, uh, Sun Yu's uh, skills are here. Eh, not much, but he's armed. I didn't think he would be too much, because he's got a generic graphic. Uh, even though he's a member of a famous clan. Although, who knows if he's actually a member of that clan, or he just happens to have the same name. I mean, there's so many people. Well, Sun's not as common as, say, Lu. Everybody is a freaking Lu. And Han Zi, he's not much. Oh, Han Zi, I like him. He's got a... He's, he's another one of those with a smiley face. Because every... Oh, Tan Zhuang, that was the one who was there. And I think they're gonna try to envelop me in place. Which is fine, I'm gonna step him back into the woods. I'm just gonna kinda... Is it raining? Okay, good. Yay! Although I might eventually wish that I hadn't... There's that guy. So we flushed him out, which is real nice. I'm not gonna worry about Hanzi, who I think is actually Kanzi. I've seen it written that uh, way in uh, future games. So there were definitely some spelling issues that went on. Now, it's good to have this guy out of the woods here where we can really mess him up. We can mess him up if he's in the woods as well, but you know, I like this. And you see that line of fire there stops him from interfering. That's a, that's a pretty nice fire I ended up setting. And I'm pretty happy about that. I'm usually not uh, Mr. Fire Tactic. Right, Zhu Tai, who's really a turncoat if you think about it. I mean, holy crap. He's going to help dismantle his lord here. But I gave him a lot of horses, so I mean, how could he resist, right? You gonna come into my ambushes that I have set up? No, you're not. All right, fine. Well, I'll be happy just to kind of... I probably should just try to step into those woods there. I don't know if they're clear or not. I guess I'll find out when I try to step in with Sao Ren. Okay, good. I was wondering if they were clear. That's funny how many of these guys are just like not actively participating in the battle. I mean, figure when they had me up there, uh, kind of tucked up. They could have went in there to try to uh, isolate me. That would have worked out probably in their favor because they have so many people. But as it's going right now, I mean, it's just these are all really favorable uh, battles kind of set up perfectly for me. And so, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, oh, how much they outnumber me by. Not by that much anymore, that's the answer. I don't want to get anybody in a triple attack uh, type zone there. So now, we're at a point here, they're not lined up exactly super for us to do anything. And I'm going to move him out of the triple attack here. Luckily there's nobody in these woods anymore. I guess we'll put somebody else in the triple attack. Which is probably not great either. Yeah, they are still maneuvering me into, while well, not altogether uh, favorable to them, still favorable enough. Ah, part of that triple attack was that guy with like nobody. I see. And I might go ahead and, who is this? Is this uh, Gan Ning right here? Yeah, that's him. All right, that's their, that's their star player right there. So we want to be real careful. Make sure that we're. Who's this guy over here? Aha, Zhang Hong, okay. I'd like to go ahead and charge and then go around the outside here. Yeah, that would be probably the best way to go about things. Because uh, if we could get in behind Gan Ning, we can really make our. Ah, I gotta move. 
Yeah, they want to get and go after Guan So that's for that's for sure, and that's for darn tootin. All right, so I could probably go ahead and maneuver around here. Um, yeah, okay. That's the idea. Is I want to try to en envelop. Uh, I don't know why he didn't take control of that fort. He had a chance to do so, um, but that's okay. Ah. All right, cool. So now I got the triple surroundage going on here. And also I know where Sun Chuen is. Which is good. Because I have a chance to go right in after him. Uh, before he can recover his castle uh, unit there. So that's uh, definitely my number one priority currently. Is to go ahead and uh, clean that out. Do 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 do. Yeah, I know this music can seem pretty annoying. Uh, not to me, because I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, I mean. Ah, gosh darn it. I was taking a gamble that I could, you know, move the most direct route, but uh, the gamble didn't pay off. Alright, so that's a long ass battle. I kind of expected that. Mmm. So I think this is my only chance to really strike at uh, Sun Chuan before he could recover. So let's see, who do I got here, War Abilities wise? Not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at this summary too here. Yeah, you see? He doesn't have many gen Okay, so let's, Tan Zoing is there, he's got three guys. All right, this is cool. This is a good opportunity for us. First, yeah, this might all be done before those guys... Let's see, do I have anybody... I want to see if I have anybody at use of Province 28 who I could send in to replace the, the very foolish Xiao Hao Ba. No, no, I see, because I sent him already. All right, that's cool. I'm going to send uh, one guy in to help. Uh, who am I going to send in? Uh, how about him? Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know if that was the best choice to send in, but it was a choice, and I made it, and I stand by it, or whatever. So let's go ahead and clean out. Uh, yeah, I guess it brings it a little too wide out. Well, no, because then I'm inviting counterattack, and I really don't want to put up with a counterattack. So let's go ahead and send 400. They might counterattack me anyway. You like that? They're all made up of uh, dudes I uh, forcibly took uh, from there, including two who are currently, um, yeah, including two that are currently associated with my uh, with the guy I'm fighting. So you know, hats off to me. Yeah. Oh my god, don't lose. I think I think Zhu Han's in our 75 guy with the generic graphic. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. All we need to do is get in there and strike at uh, Sun Chuen. That's really the most important thing. Oh, yeah, 82. Not bad. Hopefully that's a guy who's got 80, 100 guys. Just like I lost my guy with 100 guys. Okay, well, that was rather unfortunate, now wasn't it? Uh, that's going to put us in quite the spot. And that increases war ability, so now we get to fight a stronger guy with less people. Alright, well, let's take a look here. Alright, well, we're out number two to one. We've got some pretty good fighters, everybody's in the 80s anyway. Ow! Well, that's also not an auspicious way to begin the battle. Okay, well, they're all rushing up on me. So they look, whoa, jeez, Guan Ping, why are you taking such an ass kicking? Who are you fighting there? Ugh. Alright. Well, I'll charge him. Make it quick. No. No, that's not quick, dude. Ugh, and he didn't, it didn't work anyway. So that sucks. Because I need to get out of that situation quickly, or I'm going to be in super bad, uh, in a super bad way here. Yeah, look at that. He's getting rocked. 
Jeez, Guan Peng, I didn't know you were so shitty. Um, you know, I expected things to go a particular way, and they're not going that way at all, so... Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble here. If we can find a way to slow this battle down a little bit. But yeah, I wasn't expecting Cao Zhang to uh, get his butt totally kicked like that. And I'm going to have to become very protective of my uh, my unit there. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Become protective of uh, uh, my boy, uh, Guan Ping, who has yeah, just been totally decimated for whatever reason. He's 82 war ability, he really shouldn't be so weak. Did I not arm him? I'm sure I armed him a long time ago. Oh, guess not. Alright, well. For some reason I thought we had, uh, we were doing great on armaments, but I was wrong. Okay. Let's see what we can do here, though. I have to believe, well, Zuran, of course, he's He's now the tough guy with his 87 war ability. We can always reinforce next turn uh, as well. Well, we could certainly get counterattacked here, which I would not enjoy that. I mean, it's not going to take away from the inevitability of our victory uh, as far as conquering all of China, but it does certainly put us in a compromising position or a compromised position. Or whatever. Alright, let's just move Guan Ping the hell out of here since he's now uh, completely useless to us. Yeah, we'll move him back. Triple attack's better than double attack. Although, yeah, and the thing is, I can't change out my commander. So, uh, Guan Ping will be. Uh, in trouble regardless. Or I mean, it's just, we're gonna have him as a liability. Because all, they don't have to beat uh, all of us. They only have to beat Guan Peng. I don't know if that guy's still there in ambush. Ah! Well, whoever that is is in ambush. Let's see who's, who's gonna attack. Sun Quan, okay. Huan. Which I think he just fled from the last fight. Can I get into the woods? Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna bypass him because I really don't. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. Okay. So basically, the key is, oh, to get the hell into that castle. Now, Zhu Quan is right there waiting for us. Oh man, wow, they're really, oh, whoa, oh, they're coming out in force, huh? I consider that to be okay, or at least okay enough. But yeah, they definitely completely lost their shit. As soon as we got anywhere near that castle. Crap. I thought he was in. Ah, oh, man, I should have moved him into the woods there. Which I did not. Let's move him into the woods. Ah! There's somebody there. Yeah. So if I carried out the last few battles uh, admirably, I have not carried out this battle admirably at all. I've carried this one out pretty much. This has gone pretty much as badly as it could have. Okay. I mean, this is definitely a shameful, shameful battle. Okay, there's nobody there. So, okay. That's okay, though. We can make this turn in our favor. For sure. Oh, I wish I hadn't... I see what the problem is. Okay, I don't want to get ambushed again. 
maybe I can't afford to get ambushed again. Yeah, with the way this battle's going, man, we're almost at 30 minutes. Okay, I hate to cut it in the middle of a battle, but I'm going to cut it in the middle of this battle, guys. So, see you next episode. Bye-bye.